And so it was said that if the pillars of the world shall fall, darkness will descend upon all that lives. From the Book of the Dark, man did not heed this warning. The sacred cosmic tree burned to cinder. And so the darkness came, claiming all that was bright and living in fear. When all hope was lost, after a century without light, the sun rose once more. Thea awakened from her dark slumber, and you along with her. But Thea is not the world that once was. The age of darkness weakens, but it is far from over. Life took its shy roots, yet death will not release its grip easily. While the sun keeps some of the evil in check during the fleeting days, at night the creatures of darkness roam free and angry, unwilling to give up their dominion over the land. It is up to you to find a way to rebuild Thea, banish the darkness, and strengthen mankind. You know, I'm enough of an audiophile at this point that I could actually uh, hear how bad of a quality that uh, the microphone that guy was using was. Which is kind of a shame. Alright, I'm gonna crank things down a little bit. Let's crank it down to about there. There we go. Anything else particularly interesting? Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. New game! Actually, you know what? Let's go back. Let's max this stuff out and then I'll just do my usual crank down. Okay, so, uh, I guess we might as well do the standard. Hey everyone, Wander about here, and welcome to Thea the Awakening. It, uh, was recommended to me by, a uh, Funny Man, and it was described as kind of like a map quality. Uh, hi. Oh. Bonus. That's a big impact. Ah, eh, let's leave it on high, high quality for the time being. Uh, described as a... a kind of Civilization's E roguelike, I'm not entirely sure, but it sounds pretty fun anyway. So let's see. So we've got Savarog, uh, Savarog, Gun of, uh, Gun of the Sun, God of the Sun, Heavenly Fire, First Son of Perun. When darkness came, it almost took your life, filling you to the very being with its curse. But you held on to life and fell down to Thea to protect those of your worshippers who still lived, providing small rains of sunshine and warmth for as long as you could. You ensured their safety. You know not how the sun finally returned, but now that it has, you must shine a light of hope and blast the way for your people for Thea. So village focus on warriors normal. Oh, warriors normal. All right. Or Marina, death and rebirth. Uh, so basic education, research everything faster, know that enemy, bonus to folklore and animal kinship versus gain experience faster. Okay, so why don't we, why don't we be Savarog seeing as he's the standard one? I'm gonna leave everything default. Let's play one. Ah, uh, we'll see how this goes. It's definitely... I don't know. I'm getting kind of like a weird Endless Legends vibe from this. But I don't... I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Could be fun, though. Uh, but... I mean... If, uh... If Ark is playing it, some other people... Then... That's... Probably worthwhile. I think it's Avark. Avarak? I don't know. I've never actually heard him pronounce it, but then again, I don't watch other people on YouTube or Twitch. I am a very lazy man. Thea is awakened. Welcome. No time to waste. You are a deity of the High Pantheon, and you must help your worshippers survive the darkness. So what now, you ask? You are divine, yes, but you have little power, and so you will know the world through your people's eyes. This means sometimes you will encounter your own divine messengers, and maybe even face your own avatars. Weird, I know. Your first mission is to survive. Every critter is trying to make sure you stay down. So get food and craft better equipment to protect yourselves. You will guide your people to victory, either by sheer survival and progress, or by solving the Cosmic Tree's mystery. Okay, so here's the problem. I really don't want to listen to a tutorial. It generally goes slower than I'm willing to listen to. Well, let's do it anyway. What's this? Who's talking to me? And what did you mean looking through people's eyes? I am but a messenger. Theodore, you can call me. But 
let us focus on you. Thea is a broken land. The underworld is shut, and the undead roam the earth, and creatures of darkness that ruled for a century want you dead. Okay, so I need to improve our village and people. How do I get started? First, go and explore your village. Check the inventory to see your stocks, and set people to gather food and fuel, like wood. Without food, people will starve. And without fuel, they will not craft or even heal, so these are really important. Yes, once you've visited your village, check out the people standing outside. The exploring party. Select your party and set... Okay, I'm just going to ignore that, because... We can we can always go back and read the tutorial, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Let's learn the basics of na map navigation first. Uh, okay, WSD, or you can move it around. Okay, scroll mouse wheel up and down. Uh, press left click on expedition. Got it. Hex you want to go to. There. There. Okay, set up your village tasks. Left click on Astoya to set up your village. Uh... Left click again, and this, gather. See all the resources that can be gathered. Food is marked with this icon. Uh, so we've got wood, vegetables, okay. So I can drop villagers to start. Once the task is completed, you will receive the resource pack. The task will be repeated automatically. Okay, so Aga has, okay, so these are probably food people. And you're probably wood. Oh, I see. You can have helpers or not helpers. Nope. Yeah, we've already got the helpers in. Oh, uh, let's, let's throw her in there. She doesn't have any specific skills. I don't even know what this icon is, come to think of it. Oh, eh, whatever. Oh. We've got different wood things. So that's fine, I think. Okay, close. Okay, it's a VAC. Uh, or a VAC. I don't even know. Not a VARC. I don't know why I th thought there was an R in there, but whatever. Remember... Uh, Question mark, uh, end current turn. Your villagers need to eat. Each person uses one food item marked with food per turn. Food is needed to heal wounds. If villagers run out of food, they will starve and die. Having good variety of food provides many bonuses. Fuel is needed by the village and in camps. One fuel item per turn is used. Without fuel, there will be no additional healing, and any tasks will take twice as long to complete. Okay, so let's see. What can we do? Uh, tutorial. So what's this? Oh, here we go. Show hide resources. Okay, so we've got vegetables, woods, fish. I don't know how we fish. Uh, let's see, what's this? Next group. Okay, what's this? This is craft. Hello. Uh, current tasks. Clothes. Craft tools, gathering tools, not enough resources. So what do, what do I do? Wah. So let's back off. This is craft tools. Oh, so that's what this stuff is. Okay. So let's close out of that for the time being. I'm not even sure what I'm doing. Basket people are good at gathering. Helpers are only half as useful as the main person. Good to know. Hammers crafting. Okay, so let's see. What's this? Experience. Shows your current experience points and how much is how much more is needed before the level up. Open game log. Ugh. Alright, what's this? Science! Research allows you to spend advancement points to unlock new resource, resources, crafting, and construction recipes. An advancement point is given when enough research points are collected. Research points are gained by crafting and constructing, visiting runes, and also some events. Okay, so we can do monster bone, clay, quartz, scaled leather, amber. Gems, random skill bonuses on crafting weapon. Okay. Um. Hmm. Most of these seem largely useless for me right now, owing to the fact that I have no idea where any of these are. They're available, but let's leave that alone for the time being. Okay. Um, so why don't we have you guys keep exploring? The Hungry Unliving. How many move points do you guys get? Five. Okay. You approach your enemy and have time to decide your plan of action. The undead filth must be slain now, or retreat. Let's slay them. Started a challenge with two broken skeletons and an unliving corpse. How do we want to do it? Uh, let's see. Skills used in this challenge. Offense, defense, first... Uh, ah, ah. Begin combat. 
All right, before each challenge here, people's cards are split between the offensive and tactical hands. Here you have the option to reshuffle if you don't like this draw. You'll learn more about challenges and their mechanics once the challenge begins. All right, so I've got these three, and we've got random shit. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. Okay, welcome to the card minigame. Please play close, pay close attention to this tutorial as the mechanics are fairly complex. If you feel confident enough to play your own, on your own, you may keep this tutorial window open for reference or reopen it with an OK. To win, you need to eliminate all of your opponent's cards. Let's begin. Your deck is made up of party members, stats, damage type, and tactical skills come from their equipments and skills. Your deck is divided into hands, offensive, and tactical, on the left and right respectively. Starting side, uh, starting side in each round is decided randomly. You begin with the preparation phase. This is where you play cards. The fight phase comes after all the cards are played. This number shows how many cards you can play this turn. So we got two. Each card is characterized by two very important values, attack and defense. Attacks deal damage, lowering the defense of the attacked card. When the defense reaches zero, the card is eliminated. Characters may have different types of attack depending on the weapon, fight challenges, or special skills and non-fight challenges. Some attacks may have additional effects like poison leech, uh, click question mark for more. Fight challenges only, your wounds will be carried over from the challenge and can lead to the death of the characters. Offensive cards are for direct attack and placed on the battle using left click. Card's initiative depends on the order it entered the battlefield. Some weapons can modify that. Tactical cards tactical cards offer support that can be played using skills. Okay. Support actions will affect an eligible card with least initiative. Skill description contains more info. When both you and your opponent pass a turn without playing any cards, fight phase begins. Fight phase is resolved according to initiative, left to right, the first card on the left attacks first. Cards always attack the closest enemy on either side randomly. Once cards have no target on the battlefield, damage is dealt to remaining cards. Uh, and the first fight phase does not conclude, second phase follows. If both fight phases don't conclude, a new preparation phase begins. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, let's send out Kazmarina. Yes. Okay, she's down. So we got one, two. So we got skills that we can do. Uh, these are different people. Who are you people? I guess these are support characters. So we got counter offense. Discards a random card from your opponent's offensive hand. Discarded cards level must equal less to the counter offensive level. First action. Nope. Won't let me look. Okay, there we go. Allied card with the lowest initiative, which level is equal or lower than first action is moved to the... Okay, get closer. No. Confuse. Uh, opponent's card with lowest initiative. Confused. Okay, get closer. Counter offense. Alright, let's do counter offense. Goodbye, skeleton. And eh, that's my card, so end turn. Okay, so he puts down an unliving corpse, which apparently has some kind of weird bonus there. Why is this health boosted? Is it? Oh, it's because of the shield. Okay. I do a ton more damage than he does, though. So that's kind of nice. He's confused. I have no idea what confused does. Poison damage doubles when attacking an already wounded enemy. Okay, that's fine. So let's send out... Piercing damage. Placed in the front of the last card. If it was an enemy card. Card dealing piercing damage is placed in front of the last card if it was an enemy card. It will also deal half its piercing damage to it. I don't know what that means. Blunt damage. All remaining damage after killing an opponent is dealt to the second opponent. And slash damage. One enemy only. Okay. Okay. Why don't we do... Yvadga... And then... Counter Offense. Oh, he might not have enough cards. I'm not entirely sure. Play the Piercing card, you'll see. Oops. We'll play it after. Oh. I see. So we, we start with the Piercing damage, though that's kind of handy. And Confuse. Okay. Oh, well, there we go. We're out of cards. So Fight Phase, but he can't do... Dick all or nothing. So it should be okay. Perfect. So 
So we actually just roll him. Nice! Okay, I like this. The illustrations are pretty good too. Oh, and there's just this random other skeleton over there for whatever reason. Surprise! Okay, you have won the challenge. You've acquired... Ribcage. Goody. Monster bone, some experience and some science. Cool. Alright, well, can we keep exploring? Yeah, we can. It uh, looks like these people can explore for... Or take five actions per round. Oh, there we go. And none of them got injured. So that's cool. What is this? I'm not sure. Let's end turn. I'll call that probably good enough. Okay, so what's the Stoya doing? So what's this? Equipment. Bleh. So the, I think they're all equipped. Uh, inventory. Bunch of random junk, and apparently we have two children. <laughs> Why are they in the inventory? Let's throw them on the ground. <laughs> inventory allows you to move items in between groups. Left click. Quickly move items. Shift click. If you move characters to the ground group, they'll form a new expedition. All right. So throwing all those kids in there. Um, <laughs> we could just go exploring with children. Ah, this does not seem like a bright de uh, bright idea. We can also destroy the children. <laughs> I'm a dick. Dismantle the children. Item cannot be dismantled, son of a bitch. All right, whatever. Uh, let's see, what's this? No expedition. Select people. Nope, we don't have enough people for that. So let's check gathering. Gathering seems to be going all right. Everybody's currently spoken for. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Click craft to open the task panel. Okay. Not enough resources, not enough resources. Cooked meals. Oh, hey, we can we can make uh, food and stuff. Okay, drag drop materials into the workbench. Click confirm to add this to the current task list. Okay. Let's go vegetables, meat. Okay. Bigos, form of vegetable stew traditionally made out of sauerkraut, but any vegetable does the job if needed. Let's try just doing double meat, see how that goes. Meat stew. Uh, let's go with that, actually. Confirm. Okay, so meat stew will be made by who's currently helping? Probably Deborah Dova. Okay, so this will make meat stew, which is food, which... I don't know what I'm doing, whatever. We'll figure it out. Now, here's a question. Does that take her off of gathering? Yes, it does. Eh, that's fine. <laughs> Load the children onto the catapult. Disclaimer, you don't have a catapult. Hmm. This disappoints me greatly. Alright, so let's let's explore around our area. See See what we can... What kind of nonsense we can get into. I'm liking this game. I don't like the user interface that much, but like the hand-drawn illustration and stuff is nice. Look at the Manage Supplies tab in the village. Alright, uh, oh, Manage Supplies, here we go. If you want to restrict or allow usage of any specific fuel or fuel, food or fuel item, click its icon. The more food varieties available to the group, the more bonuses they get. Uh, fuel allowed for burning. For consumption, okay. So, because we have two varieties of food, we get, um, we get, every party member gets health, if we get three, we get will, and then after that we get more bonuses. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, no expedition, no, we don't have enough people for that, inventory production. Okay, that's cool, I like that. So, here's the question, can I produce anything? Okay, so we have limited meat, so let's go back into this, let's go to craft. Let's change this. Oh, wait, no, we're just making one meat stew. Okay. And this will take four turns. Okay, so we'll, we're making one meat stew. We can make an infinite number, but that's a bad move. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I don't mind it that much. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? I have no idea. So what we got? Uh, search location. Maybe worth checking out or not. Who knows? Inventory. If you see what they have. Equipment. 
and split expedition. Let's not do that. You stumble across some ruins of an old city engulfed in mist and mystery. Search. You open one of the buildings. A strange looking stone uh a strange looking stone and metal built affair. You hear a clunking noise, then a blunt thud. Before you're able to do anything, you see a skeleton charging away to arms flight. Bing in combat. Alright. So we get these characters. I don't know if they're good or not. We'll figure it out. Okay. Okay, this is why cooking is useful. You get more bonuses from having more varieties of food. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's start with... Oh, God, you're useless. Well, we're not bringing her out. So let's bring out Yavidga... Yad... Viga for the time being. Oh, I see. My One of my support characters ended up on the offensive group. Whoops. That's not good. Alright, why don't we do... What does Get Closer do? Enter the battlefield, but by doing so it gets confused. No. Uh, let's do first action. Let's initiative. Move to the beginning of the initiative queue. Oh, I see how that works. Well, let's do counteroffensive and get rid of one of the rats. Okay, player's turn. Well, let's send out Katharina. I was kind of hoping she'd kill it, but she's not quite powerful enough for that. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I don't think that rat's gonna live. Not much I can do. We could do get closer. I don't think we want to do that. That's end turn. Unfortunately, those draws don't carry over. That's a shame. Oh, I could actually play him if I wanted to. Oh, that's an interesting point. Either way, let's confuse the rats. They're all gonna die anyway, probably. Nope. Oh, I don't have any more cards to play. Okay, he's got a skeleton. Well, let's see how the well this goes. It might go poorly for me, come to think of it. Oh. Let's confuse the rat, and... Let's not bring her out. She'll probably die. Okay. So the blunt damage is going to just roll through all of the rats, which is great. No, it's not. It's only the next target. Okay, goody. I'm really confused as to why I haven't been hit yet, but you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, he's so bad. Dude, I've never played this game before. What do you expect? And we've required a ton of things, so let's take this stuff and leave this place. Cool. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, do we even have enough move? Nope, we don't. Okay. Well, let's take a look at Astoya. Check this out. Uh, so Meat Stew is still four turns away. We'll leave that alone for the time being. And let's just end the round. Oh, crap. We've got some group of dudes. Well, you know what? I'm feeling punchy. Let's manage equipment first before we go anywhere else. Yeah, because we got, like, bucklers and stuff. So first and foremost, we've got, like, Delbora, who has, like, nothing. Radchona. Yeah. So just in case she ends up here. Well, uh... Let's see. So what does this even go under? Oh, I see. Sharp stone leg. Pirate by the name of Legzy Mihail was also known to have a quartz peg leg and a matching axe. This blade was made in his memory. Funny. All right. Boar Spear, and that. So here's the question. So they all have different... Okay, fine. Armor, Shielding, Dexterity. So I'm going to give Delbora a shield. Can I not? Okay, so she can use a shield. Can't... Can she not? Okay. Oh, now she can use that. So she can use this one, but not the other one? I I guess? Can she use two? Nope, she can't use two. Uh, let's see. So what's this? Rib cage. Consider it under there. Alright, fine. Let's go take a look at the other characters. Let's see who can be equipped with this. The answer looks to be nobody. Weight limit under the character. Oh. Wow, she's worthless. 
Okay, so she really can't use any of these things. I guess let's go with that one. Unless it's better. Three armor shielding. Okay, can't use any weapons, can't use any armor. Okay. Well, here's the question. Which one's better? Three armor shielding, armor shielding. Alright, well that'll have to be. Uh, let's go for the next group, I guess. Small hive. Let's see. Unliving corpses? Yeah, this should be easy enough. Alright, so we've got Red Shona, Deborah, and you be good. Let's try reshuffling. I mean, at least Red Shona does, da does damage, so let's try... Characters. Okay, notice each person has a type. Hers is Medic, so she's not much use in a fight, but she helps people die if they take root wounds. Really nice to have. Okay, good to know. So. Oh yeah, there she is. She's actually got some pretty good stuff. Shield ally. Hmm. Neat. Well, either way, let's send out... Kazmira and Yadviga. Uh, Kazmira, Yadviga. There we go. Because he doesn't have any any, any any dudes anyway. Oof. I'm like being corpse. Well, it's not injured yet. Well, it's not even out yet. Alright, so let's confuse it. Because, yeah, if they're all confused, then they don't attack. That'll make my life easier. And let's try... Counter-offense. Get rid of one of the skeletons. Yeah! Broken skeleton, that's fine, because I can do... I can do confuse. Oh, it's already confused. I guess let's send out Red Shona. And get closer. Oh, what? Oh, she's in here. Okay. Well, that's a surprise. I did not think she'd show up in the group, but alright. That's cool. I thought that would actually move a character out, but I guess we just win. Yay! Damage to health carries over between rounds. End of the world map. Damage to shielding does not. If you're heavily damaged, you have a chance to die each turn. Okay. Well, we've got a shield. I could dismantle it, but let's not. We can always dismantle it later. Alright, let's go for this one. Here's the question. Is it worth going for the small hive? I have no idea. Let's grab this. Uh, you stumble across some ruins of an old city engulfed in mist and mystery. Search it! You open one of the buildings, a strange-looking stone and metal-built affair. You hear a clunking noise, then a blunt thud. And before you're able to do anything, you see a skeleton charging your way to arms. Alright, skeleton, some rats. Cool enough. So... We do have Delbora, but let's reshuffle. She's better as a support character if we can get her as much. Is that it? Did, did it not reshuffle? Guess so. Well, tits. Alright, let's figure this out. At least she's got some armor. So why don't we send out... Kazmira first. And let's do counter offense. That'll get rid of the, one of the rats. We got a skeleton and a rat. Okay. That skeleton is scary. He's level 2. We're gonna confuse him. And let's send out Katarina. Oh, that's my only play, apparently. I guess I only get one. Well, let's send out Katharina. It'll take out the Hulking Rat. Oh, doesn't take out the Hulking Rat, just does damage. Alright. Opponent's turn. Plays out another rat. So that one's confused. Now we could do Get Closer. Yeah, we'll do Get Closer. We'll miss the first round, but the skeleton's down, and that hulking rat might actually attack. Okay, well, I guess I can also send out Delbora. She gets the shield, the rat won't be able to hurt her. Okay, end turn. Okay, cool. So the rat does end up dying. Ooh, that skeleton is scary. But she lives. Okay. And there's one more rat. Yeah. The rat used first action, so that's why that skeleton went, at, went ahead. Urf. Okay, so... 
Take stuff, leave the place. We got, I mean, we got good stuff from it. That's good. Unfortunately, she's injured. Okay. If your people get wounded during a fight challenge, these wounds persist, and if serious, cause death. One wound is recovered each turn as long as the group has food. To improve healing, set up camp, or go back to the village and make sure you have food and fuel. Medics reduce the chances of death for wounded party members. Also, some events allow you to heal. Well, you know what? Let's let's go back home. You get enough moves? No. Apparently, that weird... Oh, God. There's a smiter, spider's nest just moved right in. Alright. Well, let's move all the way home. Apparently, by canceling the move action, it actually wasted all of their moves. Uh, let's see. And... No, not join. Heal? Wounded. Okay, so how do you how do you camp? Maybe you don't. I guess let's, let's join for one round, maybe, and work on things while that one person heals. I don't know. Uh, we got a lot of vegetables and stuff. Let's see what we can do. Astoya, craft. You can't camp in town. Oh. Well, it said return to town, so we'll figure that out. Anyway, gather. Gather might not be a bad move. Okay, so a lot of these people are working and don't have a whole lot of skills. What about crafting? Gathering tools, cooked meals, clothes. What can I make? So I can make leather, leather, leather. This will make a leather shirt. Doesn't really seem useful. What about topaz? Nope, I need more of that. How about leather, leather, or leather, that. Okay, it's still leather shirt. And it's a slightly lower armor value. Okay, that's not super useful. Camp or return to town. Okay, that's fine. Um, gathering. What about construction? Pasture. Not enough resources. What do we need for it? A lot of different things. A lot of vegetables, a lot of wood. You know what? Let's... We got all these spare people. Let's help. Let's speed things up a little bit until that person heals up. I... I think it's under inventory. So you're at 4 out of 11. Alright, let's take a turn and see how fast that recovers. Top item determines the primary type of item. Middle adds modifiers. Bottom is just fuel. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Alright, so she recovered 3 HP from that. So we'll do one or maybe two more turns in here. And then we'll head back out again. Now, I did get another Smith's Apron. Uh, looks like it's not much better, but still it's useful. Okay. So let's rest again. And let's do a new expedition. So... I have no idea which ones of these characters were in the group. Well, he was. She was. Anybody with a high armor, probably. Delbora. And oh, you can see you can see their uh, specializations. Cuz they've got the little shield next to them. Cuz yeah, he's wo he's 1 point or she's 1 point off of max. Okay. That'll be good. Create expedition. Supplies. Okay, here we go. So, wait, no, this is equipped. Inventory, here we go. Um. So, expedition one will have eight vegetables. Eight meat. Oh, oh, it's for each of them. Okay, so let's boost that up a little bit more. Let's try 30 and 20. 
Uh, oh, oh, I see. I see how it's it's going here. It's re-adding them before splitting to the stock. Okay, there we go. Eight turns for the expedition. Should be good. Okay. Uh, let's see. One food per person per turn. One fuel per group per turn. Oh, yeah, we don't have any fuel, do we? Shit, what's... Do we just not have fuel? Are we just out of wood? Dude, am I just totally boned as far as the fuel total goes? Because I see no wood. I see no wood here. Clay, quartz, gold, monster bone, leather. We have one fuel. I have not been gathering well. Oh, that's not good. Let's go back to gather. You know what? Let's give it a, another turn. We'll get some more fuel in like two more, two turns. I wonder what happens when we get attacked. Okay. Uh, let's do inventory. So I got seven wood. That should be enough. Now we can make that uh, subjugation group. So let's do... Nope. Shift click. Sends everybody over faster. There we go. We'll send David over. Okay. Inventory equipment is fine. Uh, I'll leave behind all the like meaningless junk that we probably don't need. Actually, we should check. How's this stuff? Five armor. This is six armor and one dexterity. Yeah, that's that's better. This leaves most people with at least a little bit of equipment. Wait, there we go. Now she's got some armor now. Uh, to go with everything else. I don't think I have any extra stuff. Okay, that'll be fine. And then she'll just have the shield. So now we want... 20, 20 of that. 30 of that. And then all of the fuel. All but one fuel. Okay, because we're not going out that far. For gathering, the gather skill is multiplied by 10 to get the number of points. Downside per turn. Zero skill gives five points. It's cut in half, rounded down. Okay, that's really complicated for me right now. Honestly, what I'm probably going to do is just kind of do this for uh, for a little while longer. And then probably go to bed and start over next time around. Okay, looks like it's my main fighters here. Hey. Keep and play. Okay. Oh, wow, these spiders are comical. Alright. Ally card with lowest initiative. Move to the beginning of the queue. So why don't we send out Yadviga. And then first action. Oh, there's no valid target for that skill. Ah, shoot. Well, fine. Why don't we send out Katharina. Oh, no. You have to do spear first. Ah, shoot. Alright, fine. On his turn, has spiders, but it's going to be confused, correct? Yep, because they're bringing them out. Okay, so I got a bunch of actions. So, we can't do first action because nobody has that. We got to get closer, but that's not useful. So, why don't we do confuse? And confuse. And then list lava. Okay, there we go. And then can't counter offense. Let's just shield ally, I guess. Kind of useless, honestly. But this should be fine. Because the first two spiders are going to be confused. So I should be able to just murder them. No. Never mind the spider in front. Oh, we win. Hey! I'm a wizard. I guess. We'll get some experience and some science. I don't get any good loot, though. That's a shame. How many more moves do we have? Three! Yes! Alright, let's go for the spider's ne nest next. It's just more of these malicious spiders. All right, looks like it's largely the same group. No, um, no hammer bros, but you know what? I don't need them. Okay, opponent's turn. Goes first. Please don't play two spiders. You're going to play... Hey, 
I like when that happens. Katharina. No spiders for you. All right, and we might as well send out Las Lava as well. Because she's got the shield in total, which I believe recovers between fights, sort of. I don't know. It's interesting, though. I'm liking... I, I like this game. It's clever. All right, so I get one action. Well, why don't we do... I could probably try counter offense. Yeah, let's try counter offense. <laughs> no spiders for you. Okay, that's it for my turn. And that one comes out confused, which is fine. Because I don't care. I confused that one, and nothing else I can do, so let's end turn. Okay, unfortunately... Eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because we win, and then if both fight phases go, then there would be the uh, the last... Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Right-click, see properties. Okay, so it's a resource. So we get some spider silk. Nice. All right, close. So we got that taken care of. We've got a resource camp over there. We don't have any more moves. Uh, then turn. And I think if we come... Oh, hey. What's this? Uh, your people's abilities have improved. Katharina gets two health. Lislava gets tactics. Vladimir gets strength. Faint, strength, and will. Gathering, folklore, craft, and health. And we've got another science point, which is mostly... Oh! Gathering, crafting. So we can do more more food. Or construction, we can learn well. Oh, well. Provides various resources uh, each turn. Or a smithy. Let's learn how to make a well. Because if I can actually make one, that would actually be really good. Okay, so let's see. We're not currently crafting anything. Let's do construction. Well. So I need a ton of wood. So let's go to gathering. This is going to take forever. For freaking ever. Let's bring you out. Yeah. Oh, man. That, that saves so much time. Okay. So our, f our food totals are good, but our fuel totals are not great. Let's see. Let's head over to this one. Camping and expedition is really important because we only have one settlement. A camped expedition can collect resources. Oh, really? All right. Well, we find a first thing. Let's check this out. We're getting attacked by some hulking rats and some skeletons. Um, let's try reshuffling this. Yeah, that's a lot better. Admittedly, it's all sword people, but still. Opponent's turn. Tough old skeleton, but he is confused. He's also got leech. Getting that much life. Well, that's fine. Uh, he's got 23 health. Let's send out let's send out Kazmira. And let's try using counter offense. Take out one of those rats. There we go. And do I get any more? Nope. Okay, it's a rat. That's fine. Another rat, that's fine. So one's confused. I have two plays. Why don't we do the Slava and Confuse. And turn. Opponent's turn. Goes down a hulking rat. I get two actions, so I can't do first action because I don't have a high enough level. So let's just send everybody out. They're all confused. We're going to do as much damage as we can. Yeah! Alright. Battle. Unfortunately, we're probably going to get hit by Captain Skeleman there, which kind of sucks. That it is. Well, we'll figure out how to camp after this, I think. Yeah, that skeleton having first action is kind of rough. Uh, let's see. We get some stuff, though, which is nice. All right, take the stuff and leave this place. All right, so now, how do we camp? Where's the button for camping? Oh, there it is. Wait, what's this? No fuel. Oh, it doesn't have any firewood. Ah, that'll slow things down, unfortunately. We'll be getting some more fuel in two turns, though. Okay, that'll be fine. So how do we camp? What is what is button for camp? Do I... Oh, I right-click to get rid of these. Okay, what's this one? Villager's idle. Nobody's idle anymore. 
Uh, so what's this? Show hide resources? No. So is there not a camp icon? Oh, here it is. Camp, but we need one movement point to do so. Okay. So now we can camp. Let's gather. Okay, so we can get fire... We can get firewood, and we can get herbs. I see. Okay, well, all of you guys have, like, zero skills. Let's grab some firewood. Let's grab some herbs. Okay. I'd like to get herbs, but honestly, I think I'm going to just throw everybody in into... F no, let's throw everybody into herbs. Is that ever is that literally everyone? Yeah. That'll have to do. Gonna take forever. None of them are good at this sort of thing. Okay. Oh, they probably don't have enough skills to do this. Or food. Let's check inventory. Ah, uh, looks like she's full health. Let's break camp. Does that undo the gather? I have no idea. Either way, we're going for that small hive. Okay, group has no skills, so they're not going to gather at any speed. Okay. That makes sense. But we got the health back. That's kind of the main deal that I was looking for. So let's see. Let's reshuffle this one. Ah, uh, it seems... Oh, shoot. It's still Dale Bora. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Next game, you should probably choose the gather focus so you can get more people who can gather. Yeah, okay. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how that even works. Uh, so let's start with sending out Vladimir. That way, he'll just ruin whomever I come across. And actually, let's send out Vladimir and Laslava. <clears throat> Good. She had shield, so it doesn't do any damage. Interesting, though, that uh, Get Closer works with, with spears. I will keep that in mind. So... We can do Confuse, First Action, Get Closer, Get Closer. Can I, like, delay my action? No. Oh, it's down by the difficulty selection when you... When you start a new game. Okay, that's good to know. So why don't we do... Why don't we get closer with the shield maiden? That'll do for the time being. Goddamn bees. Alright. Fine. Let's confuse the bee. Can't confuse anything. Get one more card. We can try sending her out. She'll probably be fine. She's got a shield. She does dick all and nothing, though. I just don't know what other oh, units the opponent has. But I can confuse that B. Yeah, let's confuse it. Uh, this is not going to go great. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Stupid bees and your piercing damage. Okay, fight phase two. There's so many bees. They're probably going to kill her. Nope! They almost do, though. Oof. Alright, so that sucks. Wounds. Damage you take and lose your health. Alright, and we get some amber. This is not the group I wanted to deal with. Well, you know what? I think this is a great stopping point. It is 4.45 in the morning. I am tired. I'm not playing the greatest. And, uh, obviously there are a lot of things that I could be doing better the next time around. So, why don't we actually do that for the next time around? Uh, let's talk impressions for the game, seeing as this might as well be my impressions video. I like it. Uh, I hate the interface, 
I think the gameplay is poorly explained and awkward and stuff like that. Um, and there's a lot of, like, weird, weird issues and inconsistencies, but it's really, really comes down to them not evening out the le learning curve particularly well. Uh, once I actually learn how to play this game, and, like, and actually know what I'm doing and not have these weird issues and, you know, manage the difficulty settings better and stuff like that, this will actually get really, really fun and really, really good. Uh, so I'm actually really looking forward to that. Obviously, you know, I'm not entirely sure exactly how this is all going to go, but it has a huge amount of potential, way more than I've seen in a lot of, uh, a lot of, like, indie civilization sort of building record- I don't even know. I don't know how to, um, exactly describe it, but it's cool. I like it a lot. And it just has fun little bits to it. Uh, it's, it's a nice blend between sort of Civ Manager and RPG. Obviously, I would love it if it went a little bit more in both directions, you know, so it had more uh, deeper civilization management system as well as RPG system, but what it does right now is great. I think the game's in early access, too. Uh, if I can go check. Uh, it's featured. It's actually one of the featured games. It came out a couple days ago. Uh, let's see. I don't want to see Deadly Prophets. That's not useful. And it is not great. Okay, fine. Thea. Thea the Awakening. Is it early access? Is it not? No, it doesn't look like it. This looks to be their 1.0 release. Well, it's not terrible. I don't know. Hopefully they keep patching the game and adding more to it. But I guess if they don't, well, whatever. It's a pretty good, uh, pretty complete product. And I'm sure once I get further in the game, it's going to be quite, quite a blast. For now, though, I think I am done. So if you guys like this impressions video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Thea the Awakening or Indie Impressions videos or roguelikes, seeing as this one, I guess, counts as one, uh, just barely out of early access, I believe. Huh. Okay. Uh, that's probably why I haven't heard of it before. Maybe. Uh, then hit subscribe because, well, I'm probably going to play a ton of this game as well as many other games. Then I'll. Uh, and I guess with that, I will see you guys on the next episode of Thea the Awakening. And as always, thanks for watching.